Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mass of God be with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you came into the world to show us your Father. This you did through actions accompanied by words. Kindly send us your Holy Spirit to guide us to do what you did and say what you said. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 6 verses 43 to 49. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good man out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil man out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation upon the rock. And when a flood arose, the stream broke again that house and could not shake it because it had been well built. But he who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation against which the stream broke and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, I have chosen the theme, words without actions are useless. My dear good listener, there is a true story I know of a man who was rich and very powerful indeed. And whenever you met him in a town or in another place at a party with his wife, you would think they had just married. He would show his wife to everyone he met. He demonstrated a very extraordinary care towards her wife. He would take her to the restaurants and ask her whatever she wanted to eat and he would provide. He would take her to the supermarkets and to other shops in case she wanted to buy something. The man would provide without difficulty. My dear good listener, such was the life of this couple outside their home. But when they returned home, the man was totally different. He was a monster. He used to beat his wife using a panga and a heavy rod. Many times he left her half dead. Her body was all bruised and her life was not easy at all. That is one story. Another story which you might be knowing is of centuries of Calcutta. This century woman, a religious sister, went to Calcutta, looked at the suffering and the hunger and the inhuman state the people of Calcutta were living on the streets. She decided to leave her comfortable convent and went on the streets to meet the people to take them that care, that comfort they needed from her. She emulated Jesus who left the comfort of heaven and came to show us the true love and mercy in this world which had become an exile. My dear good listener, St. Teresa of Calcutta was aware of the religions in India that were opposed to Christianity. She knew it well that if she began talking about Jesus, she would most likely be killed. What did she do then? She decided to go on the streets without talking about Christ, but doing the works of Christ. She put into practice the manifesto of Jesus, which we read in Luke chapter 4, verses 18 to 19. She set out to bring good news to the afflicted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, sight the blind, and to bring Jesus' freedom to the captives. She nursed those who were sick. She brought love and mercy in the concrete form to the people on the street. She took the convent outside to the people. She took Jesus with her to the streets and slowly by slowly people were attached by her actions. And people began noticing that she was different from other religious sisters they had met before. She was different from other people. And so they began asking her what made her different? What moved her to begin doing street ministry? And there she got the opportunity to talk about her loved one. Jesus Christ. 
she began talking about Jesus as the one who had inspired her to go on the streets. Her actions gave way to talk about Jesus. She brought people to Jesus through her actions. She understood well what Jesus says in John chapter 14 verse 11. You must believe me when I say that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe it on the evidence of these works. And so as Jesus became the evidence of the Father by performing the works of love and mercy, demonstrating us a God of love and mercy, so did St. Teresa of Calcutta to the people she met on the streets. Now, having heard the two stories of the other man who went about convincing people that he loved his wife but at home became a monster, and this story of St. Teresa of Calcutta, I believe you can understand why Jesus in today's gospel is asking you and me, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? Therefore, becoming a Christian does not mean only going to church and performing all other church rituals or listening to preachers. It's far from this. It means putting into practice what has been heard. The Blessed Virgin Mary herself in John chapter 2 at the wedding at Cana told the servants, do whatever he tells you. The secret is in the doing, and that is why Jesus performed the first miracle by changing water into wine. Jesus will change your situation only when you permit him to work with you and in you, and when you do what he tells you. Remember, words without actions are useless. And as St. James in his letter, chapter 2, verse 26 says, As a body without a spirit is dead, so is faith without deeds. My dear good friend, let us turn to God and know that God wants us to continue doing the works he began. St. Faustina in her diary number 1120 says, I do not know how to live without God, but I feel that God, absolutely self-sufficient though he is, cannot be happy without me. My dear good listener, God cannot be happy if you and me do not perform his works of love and mercy towards our brothers and sisters. And so in the same spirit, let us continue this our second day of Novena, praying that God may stop the spread of coronavirus, and secondly, that God may convert our fellow sinners, the Ugandans, who are going about with the pangas and other harmful objects, killing innocent people. And lastly, we pray for Radio Maria Kabale to have more support, to be able to pay off the debts it has incurred, especially due to this lockdown of coronavirus, and also that Radio Maria may expand to other areas where it has not yet reached. For remember, these days, Radio Maria is our church. The church, the voice of Jesus in our homes. On Sunday, 26th September 2021, I will personally be on Radio Maria from 8 p.m. to midnight to receive your generous contributions towards the same cause. As St. Paul reminds us of Jesus' words in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20, verse 35, it is more blessed to give than to receive. May God bless you all for your generous contributions. The Lord be with you. I may the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world.